What's up guys, I'm BTC, the brand new Archive event is less than a week away, but if you can't wait, we just got some brand new leaks. Blizzard has updated the official Archives event website, but it's got this very generic looking background. So it has the archives, the dates, and it gives you a bit of an idea on what it is. It does have this cool live in 18 hours, so there's a countdown to it, but the background is just this blue grid, and then it has some of the other stuff like you have the co-op mission Storm Rising, but it's classified, and then the co-op mission Retribution, and then Uprising. You scroll down a little bit, and it has some other stuff, and then it gets to this and it just shows once more that kind of classified thing but we do see that there are now nine new skins in this and then you scroll down a little bit you can see the other ones from the previous events and then if you go to the emotes you'll, you'll see that there's nothing new and then for the intros there's three new ones so we know that we're getting three new intros and then nine new skins what that split is going to be Probably like seven legendary, two epic, or maybe six legendary and three epic. Probably seven and two would be my guess though, because generally if you look at the other events, they tend to load heavy onto the legendaries for this particular event, just because there's such a departure from what the original default character skin looks like. Now the background itself is probably placeholder and will likely change as soon as we get more information about Storm Rising and once the event itself goes live. They're going to want to make it look a little bit more fancy and flashy for everyone who checks out the website. That part of the website was changed on purpose, but if you go over to the achievement section of your account on the Overwatch website where you can view all of your own stats and all your achievements, it looks like they accidentally included eight of the achievements for the upcoming event. So you have this one right here, which is Storm Warning. This is simply completing the Storm Rising story mode with each of the four heroes. So you have to complete it as Tracer, as Mercy, as Genji, and as Winston. And when you do that, you get the achievement. Then you have all of these six achievements right here. These are just simply completing the story mode and the all heroes modes on various difficulties, hard, expert, and legendary. But this is the one that's most interesting because it has what appears to be four legendary skins in it. The achievement is called Freelancers, complete Storm Rising all heroes with eight different heroes. The top left looks like it's McCree wearing a bowler hat, so this might be from when he was in the Deadlock Gang, and it might be the inspiration for where Bob got his bowler hat. On the top right is Baptiste. This is obviously the very early version of him. Now, I'm thinking they might actually do one of the double legendaries for Baptiste in this one, because they've done that in the past with Torbjorn and May in some of the other events where they've given double legendaries. So, the first one would be his Talon skin, and the second one might be when he was in that Caribbean army skin type deal. So, he might end up getting two that are kind of very similar in their overall appearance, but have vastly different color schemes. That's a possibility, I'm just kind of throwing that out there, because I don't think they've done a double legendary in a little while, but uh, they do tend to do it for the archive event. The third one, the bottom left, is kind of weird. It looks to me like it's a Bastion skin because it has that one vertical eye in the center and that is something that you see on the Bastion robots. So my guess is that is a Bastion legendary. And then the bottom right is Bob with a monocle which is almost certainly going to be his butler skin and you can see this image right here what it looks like. This is from some of the early Ash release videos. And for those wondering, I already made my legendary skin prediction video a little while ago. Here's my list right here. So you can see I got Ash and Baptiste on there, but I don't have McCree or Bastion. So right now, 50%, two for four, but that is what my predictions were. Unfortunately, this was made when I thought that the Paris map was going to be the archive event. So that kind of changed it a little bit, but not too much. I still think that there's a decent chance of at least a couple of these, but I do get the feeling that it's going to be different from what I expected. But what were your skin predictions and what do you think about the leaked legendary skins? Let me know down below.
Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.